Ukrainian secret service agents infiltrated the new headquarters of the Kontemirovskaya division near Moscow. The exact coordinates of the command center, its staff, the technical plan of the premises, and other important data were established. This elite 4th tank division of the Russian Federation assaulted Kharkiv in 2022 but was crushed by the Ukrainian armed forces. Now its reserve command center is being built closer to the capital, the city of Naro-Fominsk, Moscow region. Russian generals should now look around while walking, and their offices should be thoroughly checked. There may be some interesting surprises left there from the SSU. СБУ провела экскурсию по командному пункту 4-ї танкової дивізії РФ. Це та сама елітна кантемирівська дивізія, яка мала захопити Харків у 22-му році. Генеральський штаб з усіма зручностями будується в глибокому тилу під Москвою. І поки російські строковики здаються в полон під Курском, тут є сауни, комфортні ліжка та холодильники. Ми знаємо, де ви. І знайдемо вас у ваших бункерах під землею. Ми набагато ближче, ніж вам здається. Near Pokrovsk, a Russian assault group was decimated by the Karadog Brigade. Drone operators from the 15th Brigade of the National Guard of Ukraine, Karadog, destroyed a temporary shelter housing five Russian infantry soldiers. A Russian self-propelled howitzer Mist AS was destroyed after an unsuccessful attempt to hide it in a forest area. The 152mm howitzer along with its ammunition detonated after it was hit by an FPV drone. It's fun in Moscow. The former husband of the CEO of the online retailer Wildberries, Vladislav Bakalchuk, took his security and tried to break into the head office of the company where his ex-wife was. A shootout with security broke out, where several people were injured and one was killed. Bakalchuk himself said that he arrived for negotiations on financing the construction of new Wildberries warehouses, but was attacked by security and unknown people who provoked an armed conflict. Bakalchuk himself works with Kadyrov and his ex-wife, with Karimov and Putin's main administration, Vino. So the situation is extremely exciting and interesting. Both Bakalchuk and his ex-wife are some of Russia's richest people. They divorced earlier this year when Vladislav accused her of a hostile takeover of Wildberries and sought the help of Kadyrov. After Kadyrov embarrassed himself across all of Russia with his pompous promise to return Wildberries, a Russian version of Amazon, to Vladislav Bakalchuk, the puppet of the Russians. Those in the Kremlin couldn't come up with anything better than attempting a hostile takeover. One point four million unmanned aerial vehicles will be received by the Russian army this year, Putin said. This is 10 times more than in 2023. In addition, the WSJ writes that the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation is pressuring Putin to announce a new wave of mobilization. Because allegedly due to a lack of people, they cannot knock out the armed forces of Ukraine from the Kursk region. You did not lose a single position, only counterattacked conducted offensive operations and moved forward. The commander of the 12th Azov Special Forces Brigade, Colonel Denis Prokopenko, honored the soldiers of the 2nd Battalion during the award ceremony. Вони втратили жодної позиції, лише контратакували, проводили наступальні операції та рухалися вперед. Служу українській нації!
Сьогодні вручимо шеврон нашого підрозділу, нашого батальйону. Шеврон, на якому зображений двозуб київського князя Святослава Хороброга. Його символ, під яким княжі вої йшли в бої, здобували звитягу і перемоги, зміцнювали славу української зброї. Тепер цей княжий історичний символ буде символом нашого підрозділу. Слава Україні! Russia. Transport of military equipment, including tanks, spotted on the railroad in St. Petersburg. Russia dropped air bombs on a nursing home in Sumy. At least one person was killed, many were injured. With such acts of terror, Putin is trying to break the Ukrainians and force Ukraine to capitulate. Пацаны, проведите вот с этого самого Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.